in this video we are going to discuss about single source shortest path algorithm using dynamic programming uh, this algorithm is called as bellman ford algorithm already we have seen about single source shortest path algorithm using greedy method that algorithm is called as disgestra algorithm but the major problem with that approach is disgestra algorithm doesn't allow negative edges that means it doesn't allows the edges with negative cost if we consider this edge here the cost from 3 to 2 is minus 2 the cost the cost of 4 to 3 edge is minus 2 single source shortest path algorithm using greedy method that is disgestra algorithm doesn't allow negative edges we can overcome that problem with the help of dynamic programming approach here this algorithm is called as bellman ford algorithm let us see what is single source shortest path algorithm the name itself specifies the meaning here we have to select one vertex as source vertex so select a single vertex as source vertex and we need to find the shortest path to remaining all the vertices of the graph if we consider this graph here we have seven vertices are there so we have to select one vertex as the starting vertex and we need to find out the shortest path from vertex 1 to vertex 2 vertex 1 to vertex 3 vertex 1 to vertex 4 vertex 1 to vertex 5 vertex 1 to vertex 6 vertex 1 to vertex 7 so that is our target so select a single vertex as the source vertex and find out the shortest path to remaining all the vertices of the graph generally the first vertex will be selected as the starting vertex so here uh, here we have a graph like this so the cost from 1 to 2 is 6 2 to 5 is minus 1 next uh, uh, 3 to 2 is minus 2 4 to 3 is minus 2 4 to 6 is minus 1 3 to 5 is 1 5 to 7 is 3 6 to 7 is 3 so totally we have 7 vertices are there so now we need to find the shortest path so for that uh, this is the table so dist k dist power k of 1 to 7 so 1 to 7 specifies that we have totally 7 vertices or there present in the graph okay uh, k what is k k means number of edges here the graph contains totally 7 vertices so 7 vertices means maximum we can have 7 minus 1 that is 6 edges so here k represents edges so for 1 edge 2 edges 3 edges 4 edges 5 edges 6 edges here this is the minimum cost this is the minimum cost here okay now let us see how we can find out here here totally we have 7 vertices are there so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 let us observe the first row here k is 1 so 1 means if there is only one edge if there is a single edge then what is the cost okay so what is the cost from 1 to 1 so here 1 is the source vertex 2 is the 1 is the destination vertex so if the source and destination vertices are same then the cost is 0 only so here the cost is 0 why because the cost from 1 to 1 is 0 only next what is the cost of 2 so cost of 2 means here we are assuming that the first vertex has the starting vertex so what is the here distance is nothing but cost so distance or cost or weight okay so what is the cost of 2 so that means what is the cost from 1 to 2 1 to 2 why because we are assuming that 1 is the starting vertex okay if there is a single edge so this one specifies that there is a single edge so the cost from 1 to 2 if there is a single edge is 6 so that we have written here okay next what is the cost of 3 so that means what is the cost from 1 to 3 if there is a single edge so from 1 to 3 with a single edge the cost is 5 next what is the cost of 4 so that means what is the cost from 1 to 4 if there is a single edge if there is a single edge then the cost is 5 so if there is a single edge then the cost is 5 
Next, what is the cast of 1 to 5 with a single edge? With a single edge, we can't go from 1 to 5. We need minimum 2 edges. So here we don't know the cast. So that's why uh, we need to write as infinity. Why? Because with one edge, it is not possible to go from 1 vertex to 5th vertex. Okay. From vertex 1 to vertex 5. Okay. So likewise, what is the cast of 6? So from 1 to 6, with a single edge, we can't go. So we don't know what is the cast. So we have to assume infinity as the cast. Next, with a single edge, we can't go from 1 to 7. So directly from 1 to 7, there is no edge. Just like directly from 1 to 5, we don't have an edge. Directly from 1 to 6, we don't have an edge. So here from 1 to 5, from 1 to 6, from 1 to 7, directly we don't have an edge. So that's why we have written infinity. Okay. Now let us see about k value 2, that is second row. That means if there are two edges, if there are two edges, then what is the cast? So let us see here. What is the cast of 1? So that means here the source vertex is 1, destination vertex is 1. So the cast from 1 to 1 is always 0 only. Okay. Next, what is the cast of 2? What is the cast of 2? That means what is the cast from 1 to 2 with 2 edges? With 2 edges. Here previously we have 6. So if we got less than 6, then only we have to update the value. Suppose if we got more than 6, then there is no need to update the value. Okay. So let us see here. What is the cast from 1 to 2? 1 to 2. So 1 to 2. So 1 to 2. So can we go from 1 to 2 with 2 edges? If we consider 2 here. Here there are 2 edges are there. There are 2 incoming edges are there. So this is the first edge. This is the second edge. Here we can go in this path. So 1, 2, 3, the cast is 5. Next to 3, 2, 2, the cast is minus 2. So 5 minus 2 means 3. If we observe the previous value, the previous value is 6. 3 is less than 6. So we can update that value. We can update that value. Okay. If it is smaller value, then only we need to perform the updation. Okay. Next, what is the cast of 3? So from 1, 2, 3, what is the cast with 2 edges? 2 edges from 1 to 3. So directly here we have 1 edge. But we must use 2 edges now. Okay. If we observe here, there are 2 incoming edges are there. So this is the first incoming edge. This is the second incoming edge. So 1, one 2, 4. The cost is 5. 4, 2, 3. The cost is 3. So 5 plus minus 2 means what? 3. If we observe the previous value, that is 5. 3 is less than 5. So we can update that value. Next, what is the cast of 4? What is the cast of 4? That means what is the cast from 1 to 4 with 2 edges? With the 2 edges. If you observe 4 here, here for 4, there is only one incoming edge. This is the only edge. This is the only edge. There are no other incoming edges. Okay. So from 1 to 4, uh, we can't go with 2 edges. So we have to assume the previous cast only. So what is the previous cast? 5. So we need to assume that value only. Next, what is the cast of 5? So what is the cast from 1 to 5 with 2 edges? With the 2 edges. So 1 to 5. If you observe 1 to 5 with 2 edges. So this is uh, for 5 we have 2 incoming edges are there. So this is the first edge and this is the second edge. So we can go in this path or in this path. If you consider here 6 plus minus 1 means 5. 6 plus minus 1 means 5. 5 plus 1 means 6. So 6 plus minus 1 means 5. So this is the smaller value. So that's why here we are updating this with 5. Why? Because 5 is less than infinity. Next, what is the cost of 6? So what is the cost from 1 to 6 with 2 edges? 1 to 6 with 2 edges. So if you observe 6, for 6 there is only one, one incoming edge. So we have to assume this one only. So 5 plus minus 1 means 4. So that's why here we have updated with 4. Next, what is the cost of 7? So what is the cost from 1 to 7 with 2 edges? So 1 to 7 with 2 edges. So we can't go from 1 to 7 with uh, 2 edges. We require minimum 2 edges. We require minimum 3 edges. This is the first edge, second edge, third edge or we can go in this path. So we require minimum 3 edges. So with the 2 edges, we can't go from 1 to 7. So that's why uh, just we have written the previous value only. So likewise, we need to calculate the cast from 1 to 
remaining all other edges with remaining all vertices with three edges with three edges okay so what is the cast of 1 to 1 so the cast of 1 to 1 is 0 only okay next what is the cast of 2 so what is the cast of 1 to 2 with three edges so 1 to 2 with three edges so what are the incoming edges are there so this is the one edge and this is another edge here we must use three edges if we, if we, if we assume this path if we assume this path so 5 so 5 plus minus 2 so 5 minus 2 means 3 so 3 minus 2 means what 1 okay so 5 so this is 5 so 5 minus 2 means 3 so 3 minus 2 means 1 so 1 is less than 3 so that's why we have updated this value okay in place of 3 we have written 1 okay next what is the cast of 3 so what is the cast from 1 2 3 with 3 edges so 1 2 3 with 3 edges okay so if you observe here 1 2 3 we have to move from 1 2 3 with 3 edges so here uh, we have uh, uh, two incoming edges are there this is the first edge this is the second edge so first edge first e one edge so 1 2 so with three edges we can't go from 1 2 3 so we have to write the previous value only the previous value is 3 so write that value only next what is the cast of 4 from 1 to 4 what is the cast with 3 edges from 1 to 4 with 3 edges from 1 to 4 with 3 edges we can't go so we have to write the previous value only the previous value only next what is the cast of 5 what is the cast of 5 that means what is the cast from 1 to 5 with 2 edges I'm sorry 3 edges so 1 to 5 with 3 edges so if you observe here uh, so for 5 the incoming edges are so this edge and this edge okay 2 edges are there so we have to use how many edges uh, 3 edges 1 to 5 with 3 edges suppose if we consider this path so 5 minus 2 that is 3 so 3 plus 1 means 4 3 plus 1 means 4 whereas if we, if we, if we go via this path so 5 minus 2 3 so 3 minus 1 means what 2 5 minus 2 3 3 minus 1 means 2 so 2 is less than 4 so we have to go via this path why because this path is producing lesser value than this path okay so here 2 is less than 5 so that's why we have updated with 2 next what is the cast from 1 to 6 with 3 edges 1 to 6 with 3 edges so we can't go from 1 to 6 with 3 edges why because we have only this path only so we need to update the previous value only so write the previous value only next what is the cast from 1 to 7 with 3 edges so 1 to 7 with 3 edges so 1 to 7 with 3 edges so we can go via this path or via this path if you go via this path so 5 plus 1 6 next to 6 plus 3 9 whereas if you go this path via this path so 5 so here how many edges are there 3 edges ok so 5 plus 1 6 so 6 plus 3 9 6 plus 3 9 if you go via this path then the cast is uh, 9 whereas if you go via this path so 6 minus 1 5 so 5 plus 3 means what 8 8 so 8 so is there are any other paths are there from 1 to from 1 to 7 from 1 to 7 ok so 6 minus 1 5 so 5 plus 3 8 next to 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 3 9 so is there are any other paths are there yeah if yeah we have one more uh, path is there so if you go via this path so 5 minus 4 4 4 plus 3 7 so 7 is less than 8 and 9 so 5 minus 1 4 4 plus 3 7 so 7 is less than 8 and 9 so that's why it is better to update with the minimum cost that is 7 okay so 3 edges are over now let us consider 4 edges okay 4 edges so what is the cost from 1 to 1 0 only next from 1 to 2 1 to 3 1 to 4 with 4 edges we can't go so directly we have to assume the previous values only the previous values only up to up to 1 to 2 1 to 3 1 to 4 next to 1 to 5 with 4 edges so 1 to 5 with 4 edges okay so we have to assume how many edges now 4 edges okay so what are the incoming edges are there yeah we can go <coughs> yeah this is one incoming edge this is another incoming edge so uh, we can go via this path or via this path so totally 4 edges so if you go via this path so one edge 
two edge, three edge. So that is not enough. So if you go via this path, so one edge, two edge, three edge, so one, two, five. So one, two, five, one, two, five. So it is not possible. So let us check the remaining paths. So one, two, yeah. We, this is first path, second, first edge, second edge, third edge, four edge. So this is the only path. So five minus two, three, three minus two, one. So one minus one, zero. So this path, this path. If you go via this path, then four, totally four edges are there. So five minus two, three, three minus two, one, one minus one, zero. So zero is less than two. So we can update this value, okay? Next, what is the cost of six? What is the cost from one to six with four edges? So one to six with four edges. So we can't go from one to six with four edges. So we have to write the previous value only. Next, what is the cost of uh, uh, seven with four edges? So how to go from one to seven with four edges? So one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. If you consider this path. So five minus two, three, three plus one, four, four plus three, seven. So five minus two, three, three plus one, four, four plus three, seven. Okay, seven. But the previous value is seven only. So let us check other, other paths. So one, two, seven with four edges. One, two, seven with four edges. So one, two, three, four. If, if you observe here, five minus two, three, five minus two, three, three minus one, two. So two plus three, five. Okay. So let us consider this path. Okay. Five minus two, three, three minus one, two, two plus three, five. Okay. So totally four edges are there. So five is less than seven. So let us update with this value. Next, what is the cost if we consider five edges? So here the cost from one to one is zero only. Next from one to two, one to three, one to four. With five edges, we can't go. So we have to assume the previous value only. If you consider five, the minimum value is zero only. So we don't get any other value. So here also with six edges, we can't go. Okay. With five edges, we can't go. Uh, if, we, if we consider this path, what is the cost from one to seven with five edges? So one, two, seven with five edges, five edges. So one, two, three. So totally three edges. So what are the incoming edges are there? So one, two, three, four, four only. So one, two, three, four only. So let us explore the remaining paths. So one, two, three, four only. So one, two, three only. One, two. So if we consider this path, so this is one edge, two edges, three edges, four edges, five edges. So this is the only path with five edges from one to seven. So five, five minus two, three, three minus two, one, one minus one, zero, zero plus three, three. So three is less than five. So we have updated that value. Next, if we consider six, if we consider six edges from one to one, the cost is zero only. From one to two, we can't go with three edges. We can't go with six edges. One, two, three. We can't go with three edges, six edges. One, two, four. We can't go with six edges. One, two, five. This is the minimum value only. From one to six, one to seven, we can't go with six edges. Okay. So this is the solution here. So the cost from one to one is zero. Next, the minimum cost from one to two is one. The minimum cost from one to three is three. The minimum cost from 1 to 4 is 5. The minimum cost from 1 to 5 is 0. The minimum cost from 1 to 6 is 4. The minimum cost from 1 to 7 is 3. So in this way, directly we can solve the problem using dynamic programming or Bellman-Ford algorithm.